Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And uh, today we're going to be cleaning the Taurus TH9 pistol. Uh, I'm pretty excited. This is cleaning video number 100 for the channel. And I also wanted to let you guys know that we are now paired up with Aegis Gun Care as the uh, cleaning product that you're going to be seeing on the channel uh, from here on out. Now, if you're new to cleaning firearms, there's a lot of different supplies that you can buy. There's a lot of things that you can waste your money on. Uh, but if you just want to get the products that you need to get the job done, I think you can find it over at Aegis. Now, to make it easy on you, you can click on the affiliate link down in the description box down below, and that'll take you directly to the Aegis Gun Care website. It also helps out my channel if you make a purchase, and if you use discount code TRAVISP11 at the checkout, you will save 10% off. Uh, the nice thing about it is you can pick up one of these field kits like you see right here with everything contained within it, uh, with the exception of the cleaning mat, and everything you need to clean your firearm will be there for you. Now, you can also order the mat if you want to on the website, as well as a lot of other accessories and items included. Now, before we get started, let's just talk about the cleaning supplies that we're going to be using and what the process is going to entail, and then we will go ahead and get right into cleaning that Taurus TH9. So first of all, we'll be applying an Aegis Gun Care Cleaner. You simply spray down the parts that you want to clean, you let it soak in for one to two minutes, wipe off the excess with a cloth, and then after that, you're going to apply the lubricant. You simply wipe down all metal surfaces you want to protect. And that is basically it. You just want to make sure that the metal is dry before you apply the lubricant and you're all set to go. Now we'll be applying it uh, with some, uh, we'll be applying the lubricant with some cotton patches like you see right here. Those are also included in the field kit. Uh, for fine detail work, we got some of these two-sided cotton swabs, which you can also buy over at the Aegis Gun Care website. These allow you to do some fine point detail work. It makes it easier to get in some of those nooks and crannies. Uh, now the field kits are really cool because they come with these brass jags, which allow you to push your patches through the barrel, uh, which we'll be using uh, the nine millimeter for this evening. But if you buy the deluxe field kit, you get assortment of popular sizes. Uh, then also we've got some cleaning rods that we really won't need. These are going to be for extending uh, your cleaning, your bore snake if you need to, or also to create some accessories that we'll be using a little bit later on. You also get this little bore snake pull through. This is a coated braided cable with a handle. We'll be able to use this to pull through to take out any debris from the barrel, which is really nice. Now again, the deluxe field kit does come with four different calibers. Uh, depending on which field kit you go with, that determines which calibers you're going to get. We'll be using the nine millimeter bore brush to pull out, to pull through the bore a couple times to clean it out. We've also got a little accessory brush which we can put on one of the uh, brass rods here to create a little brush for scrubbing which works out really well. For the fine detail work we can apply the oil with the needle oiler. These come in really handy for little areas that you just want to put a drop of oil that you don't want to over lubricate and that's also the key here. We don't need to over lubricate the gun. We don't want it dripping with oil when we're done with it but we do want it lubricated and ready to go. Uh, now the other cool thing again about the field cases if you buy them the field cleaning kits from the Aegis uh, website you can get this little pouch included with it. Uh, everything will fit inside of it, so it's easy to store, easy to hook up to your field pack or your range bag. Take it with you wherever you go so you can get all your cleaning done. Uh, the one thing that I, that I do recommend you use are some sort of nitrile gloves just to keep any of the lead fouling powder out of your skin uh, to keep yourself nice and healthy when you're doing your cleaning, especially as much cleaning as I do. It's, I really am conscious of, of what I get on my skin. And that's basically it. I do have some extra patches if necessary, some cotton patches, but with what comes with the kit, I think you're going to be all set to go. So again, click on that affiliate link, use discount code TRAVISP11, pick up whatever you want, whether you just want the cleaner and lubricant or the deluxe kit you see right here in the mat, you can make it happen. Don't forget, uh, discount code TRAVISP11, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and send a shout out to my neighbor that loaned me this TH9 for cleaning. It just literally came right out of the case. Uh, Taurus pistols have a varying level of grime that come on them from the factory. Uh, early PT-111 G2s used to come covered in like a heavy machine oil. They've gotten better as time has gone on and sometimes dealers are decent enough to take them out of the plastic and wipe them off and so on. This one doesn't look too bad, but it's never been fired before, so we are going to get started. As you can see, the hammer is cocked back and the safety is on, which means the firearm could be loaded. So what we wanna do is ensure that the firearm is in fact not loaded. So go ahead and press down on your safety lever and uh, release your magazine. Check and verify the magazine is empty. If it is, uh, just go ahead and set it off to the side. If it isn't, set it off to the side anyway. You can empty it out in just a moment. Go ahead and pull back on the slide and verify that the chamber is empty. It is, okay. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just set the pistol off to the side for now. Uh, we will go ahead and clean off the magazine for starters just because occasionally they do have some oil on them and some factory grime and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and apply some of the Aegis Gun Cleaning uh, Gun Care Cleaner. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray off the magazine. I'm just going to take a patch and just kind of wipe it on a little bit, just to ensure that it's all over the gun or that it's all over the magazine, and it is, okay? You could just spray it on there and just kind of let it soak, 
We're just gonna kind of reuse this and let this get a little bit saturated. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for one to two minutes. We're gonna come back, wipe it off, oil it, and then we will move on. Okay, time is up. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe off the cleaner with a cloth like the instructions tell us to. This will take off any dirt or grime that's left on the magazine. Now, you can disassemble the magazines if you want to. We're not gonna do that in this video, but uh, that does a really, really good job of taking off any oil that's left behind, all right? And now, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of lubricant just on the, on the magazine, just a couple drops here and there, and just go ahead and wipe the lubricant on. Again, I'm using uh, gloves for this procedure. Doesn't smell bad at all. Nice, okay, we're gonna let that go ahead and soak in here for just a moment. Now, using a dry patch, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess and just set it off to the side, and we are golden. And I can already tell it's leaving a nice, thin protective coat on there, which is what we want. It's not excessive lubrication, and that looks awesome. That looks very, very good. All right, we'll set that off to the side. Now to uh, begin disassembly of the firearm, it's gonna be very simple. If you've never done it before, essentially you're going to grab the gun like this, either with your right or left hand. You're gonna pull back just a little bit, and this doesn't have a very tight recoil spring on it. It should be easy to take apart. There's a takedown lever on both sides of the pistol, right here and right here. What you're gonna do is just pull back. You're gonna pull down on that takedown lever with your index finger and your thumb, and go ahead and just let go. And There we go, I ended up having to kind of pinch it with my fingernails to pull down on it to get it out of there. All right, now we're just going to lightly spray the top of the firearm with some of this cleaner. So just go ahead and spray on the top there. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for just a minute off to the side, okay? And uh, we'll go through and wipe it all off and so on. Now also go ahead and remove your guide rod and your recoil spring. This is a captive unit, which means that the spring's not gonna go shoot off, which is a good thing. Uh, so we don't have to worry about finding parts later. Just go ahead and spray that off. Okay, so let that sit off to the side. Go ahead and push out your barrel. Let's remove the barrel. There we go. Go ahead and spray the barrel down and spray out the inside of the barrel. Now, one thing we are gonna do is we're gonna saturate a patch with some of the uh, Aegis Gun Cleaner. We're gonna push that through with the jag and the rod so you can see how that's gonna work out. Now, the inside of the slide, go ahead and spray the inside of the slide and the outside of the slide with the cleaner. We're gonna let that soak for one to two minutes. Now, this is a polymer frame, so you don't have to spray the frame down. You don't wanna worry about that. Um, it is basically getting in there and it's degreasing the components and we're gonna wipe it off completely. We'll go through with some Q-tips and take care of some of the finer work here in just a moment. So I've got my little nine millimeter jag that came with my cleaning kit, a single rod here. We're going to spray on some of that cleaner on the patch and let's go ahead and just push that through a couple times and we'll see how dirty that comes out. There we go. It's gonna be a little bit tight. Yeah, there's a little bit on there. I don't know if Taurus uh, test fires their firearms at the factory or not, but uh, sometimes the guns get fired quite a bit and they can be very dirty. Just push it through a couple times. We're just gonna let that also soak for about two minutes. And then we're gonna hit that with some lubricant and we're gonna be all set to go. So there you go. Okay, we got that in there. Now we can, if we want to, after this step, I'm gonna go and look at the barrel. <laughs> The barrel just has liquid in it. Um, after this step, if you want to, you can push your bore brush through if you wish to do so. If you don't wanna worry about that, you don't have to. If you have fired the gun, you do wanna push the brush through a couple times, and then uh, we're gonna go back to the jag like we just did before. All right, so let's let everything soak for two minutes. We're just gonna wipe it all down with the cloth, and we will come right back. Okay, time is up. Now at this point, if you want to, you can use your brush to go ahead and scrub down the rails and the sides, especially if you fired the gun before, you may have uh, some grit and some grime on there. We wanna rub that in there to get that powder off there. Just go ahead and rub it all down. Just give it a little brushing. Doesn't take a whole lot of work. There's not a whole lot going on here, okay? Now go ahead and take your cloth and go ahead and wipe off the top of the gun. Get the bulk of it, okay? Then we're gonna go through some Q-tips and do some fine detail work here. Here we go. Okay, it looks pretty good. You can see there's a little bit of dirt that's coming off on it here. Here we go. Hopefully that's in focus for you guys. Sometimes it's a little hard to see everything that's going on here. Okay. I like to kind of get in there and kind of wipe out that magazine wall a little bit. Sometimes I'll, I'll push that through with a cleaning rod just to get a cloth through there to take out any muck and dirt. Let's go ahead and do that, okay? Let's go ahead and take your jag and just push your cleaning rod in, your clean cloth in there. Pull it out, it'll get any crud that's in there. Okay, that's all gone. Okay, let's go ahead and set that off to the side, then we'll lubricate it in just a moment. Let's go ahead and wipe off the barrel. Take off any dirt and debris. Okay, you can scrub this with a brush if you want to. If the gun's been fired before, you're probably gonna have a little bit of residue up here on the rear of the barrel, so go ahead and scrub that down. 
And we're gonna hit that with a Q-tip before we lubricate it. There we go. Cleaning cloth, when you're done with it, you can just throw it in the wash and wash it, not a problem. It looks good. And we'll push the uh, a dry patch through here and then a lubricated patch and that should take care of it. So go ahead and set the barrel off to the side. Okay, up next we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the guide rod. We might have a little bit of paint that comes off. It does have some sort of paint from the factory on it. I think it's so they grab the correct springs. That's what I'm guessing. There we go. This is a polymer metal guide rod spring combination here that we have going on. There we go. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's make sure everything's in focus for you here. If it's not, apologies there, guys. All right, now we're going to go ahead and wipe off the slide with the cloth. There we go. I'm going to wipe out the inside with the cloth also. And uh, we'll hit this with some Q-tips here in just a moment to scrub out anything that's left over. Look at how dirty that is. You definitely want to get your index finger down in there where your striker comes out and strikes the rear of the, uh, the bullet, the case. You're going to get a buildup of gunpowder residue on there from time to time. I like to take my pinky finger and get in the front of the slide here and just really get that cleaned out. Be surprised what comes off on it. See? So it's pretty, it's pretty dirty from the factory, but uh, it is looking very shiny, very nice, just shines. Now, the other thing too, is when it comes to applying your lubricant, you're gonna know where to apply your lubricant because you're gonna start to see some finish uh, on some wear on the finish. You're gonna start to see some steel kind of bleeding through the, uh, the black finish on the gun. And that's totally normal. Those are the points and the places where you definitely wanna make sure that you apply your lubricant. All right, now, why don't we go ahead and Grab our Q-tip here. We're just gonna go ahead and wipe out just anything that might be left over. We're gonna use the fine points on it. There's a little bit of dirt and grime going on in here, so we just wanna wipe that out before we apply lubricant, so you can do the same. Take your Q-tip, make sure you clean out underneath the rails. That generally is gonna get dirty. There we go. Kinda of get in there a little bit, and there's some muck that's coming off on there. Okay, go ahead and catch the back side of it, the top and the bottom. If you need to, you can use the fine point side if necessary. There we go. This is definitely, you can definitely tell that it, uh, it does dry it out. It does take out all that oil and all that grease, which is exactly how you want it. Okay, very nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab another one. Now this time we're gonna get in these channels on the top of the slide. We're just gonna scrub them out a little bit. And you can see some of the, the carbon that comes off on there, either from just the finish from the factory or being test fired, we don't really know. You can take your Q-tip and run it down the channels on the sides here, the rails. There you go, the insides here of the slide, go ahead and catch those. There we go, looks good, excellent. And again, you can see how dirty those are. We're gonna go ahead and toss those because those are used. Okay, now, so before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and uh, lubricate the barrel. The inside of the barrel is a little wet still, so we're gonna push a dry patch through it real quick. So go ahead and take your jag with your uh, nine millimeter fitting on it. Little spike will poke right through there and just go ahead and press your dry patch through. If you need to, you can cut those patches in half if it's really tight. Just gonna shove it through there. And if it comes out clean, you are good to go. All right, that's looking really good. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and apply the lubricant on the inside of the slide, the inside of the rails, and then also, when we're all done, we're just gonna wipe off the outside of the gun with just a couple drops, a couple patches on there. Uh, why don't we go ahead and just take the regular lubricant for starters, and just go ahead and put a little bead of it down here inside the slide, and just a little bead of it right back here on this chrome part, okay? And then we'll just go ahead and wipe out the inside of the slide, getting some lubricant all over the inside of the gun, which is what you want. Or the inside of the slide, sorry about that. Okay, just go ahead and wipe off the front here. Off. There's a few sharp edges on here. It's cutting through my gloves, I'm noticing that. Just make sure that everything has a very, very light coat of oil on it. That's all you really need. Okay, it is a little bit dirty. Again, you can always repeat the process. Now, the first time you clean the gun, there's always gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna come off on it, and then subsequent cleanings are gonna be much easier. Now go ahead and take your uh, Q-tip again, your fine point. We're gonna take the fine point, just put a drop of lubricant on there. A Couple drops of lubricant on there, there we go. Now we're just gonna go in there and hit the channels up that we cleaned out earlier, just go ahead and wipe through it. Those little edges in there so that they have some lube on them. Just a little tiny bit, just kinda get in there and hit all the nooks and crannies. Okay, that looks really good, excellent, okay. And now what we want to do is go ahead and put a couple drops on the other Q-tip side or the swab side and just go ahead and run that down the channels on the side of the slide. You want to, you could just put a drop and just let it run down the slide also if you, if you choose to do so. There we go. Looks good, looks good. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and use the little needle oiler tip at this point. We're going to get some of the, uh, the finer areas of it that needs it. 
Now, if you don't have a needle oiler tip, it's really not a big deal, but we're just gonna put one little drop of lube just right in here in the channels. There we go, where those rails are gonna run. You can go ahead and kind of let that run back and forth a little bit, okay? And essentially, we're just coating the insides of the rails right now. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wipe out the excess. I also like to just uh, wipe off one more time the front area where your striker comes out. There we go. Get that all cleaned up nice and clean. Make sure this area is dry. It's like a polished, almost like a stainless steel right there. You don't really have to worry about rust there. You don't want oil getting in there where the striker is. That would be a very bad thing because that's going to cause debris to gather up. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks really good. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and set the slide off to the side. The outside of the slide will get wiped off here in just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is just use the needle oil or just put, a, just put a couple drops of oil on the top of your patch here. And we're just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down initially. And then we're gonna do some little fine detail work and really get into some of those nooks and crannies that'll need the oil. Make sure you keep your finger off the trigger, keep the hammer pulled back. If the hammer would happen to drop, it's not the end of the world. Just go ahead and wipe it off. Kind of get in there a little bit. You can wipe off the uh, outside of the Safety levers if you want to, your slide stops. It's really cool, it's ambi, I like that. You have the option for left and right-handed shooters. It's a very, very nice setup there. Now, let's take another swab here, and we're gonna go ahead and put some cleaner on the swab. And this time we wanna apply some lubricant right underneath the rails here on each side. Okay, it does not take much. These basically have contact all the way around, so you wanna make sure that you have some oil on each of those different parts. It's like a shiny stainless part. Pretty much everything that's unfinished steel, <laughs> you want to make sure that you have some oil on it to protect it. It looks pretty good. Now I'll put a little dab of oil on the swab side here. And we're just going to go through and just wipe off anything that's metal that we see. Just kind of get in there and just wipe it all off. All your little levers and so on and your little springs. Just make sure they all have some oil on them. And uh, we're going to be in really good shape here. There we go. Lubrication points, the rear, basically anything that's metal, you can just wipe it all down. It's going to be fine. Kind of get in the front here a little bit. This little feeding ramp area, just wipe that off. Just again, a drop of oil. Won't hurt nothing. Okay, it looks really, really nice. Okay, I'd say that we're, we're good to go. It's not over lubricated. It's got just the right amount, and that's going to be functional. Still taking off a little bit of grease, and that's fine. You could really repeat this process a couple times if you want to, and that would uh, take care of any uh, issues that you might be having. Okay, go ahead and apply a couple drops of oil on your patch here and wipe off the outside of your barrel. I do like this oil, it's not super thick, it just seems like the right kind of viscosity just to function as a firearm lubricant. It doesn't over lubricate, it seems like it just basically adds just the right amount of lubrication that you're gonna need for the gun to function. Here we go, just go ahead and wipe it all off, make sure you've got some oil on that patch. Here we go, this little lug in here, you wanna make sure you kinda get a little oil underneath there also, where your lug is on the bottom side of the barrel here. Let's get in there. There we go. Also, this um, oil has really good temperature resistance. I know we're going into wintertime, especially here in Nebraska, where it's mid-October. And uh, it's been, uh, again, kind of getting below freezing here. We're getting close to being below freezing, and this stuff will not freeze up on you, which is a good thing. So if it's your sidearm, when the weather's extreme and cold, you're going to be in really good shape. Okay, one little drop of oil here, and just go ahead and wipe off the guide rod spring and the guide rod itself. Just as a little protectant, so nothing's going to rust. That's all we're really doing is just preventing it from rusting. It's taken off a little bit of that paint that's on the spring too, and that's totally fine. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take one of the patches that has a little bit of lubricant on it. We're gonna take our jag, and we're just gonna go ahead and run that through the barrel, and that's gonna lightly lubricate the inside of the barrel and prevent it from rusting. Again, if you live in a really humid environment, you might want a little more lubricant down that barrel, but uh, again, depends on how much you're gonna shoot it, and depends on the conditions you're gonna store the firearm in. It's fairly dry where we are right now. Okay, so go and press that through. Okay, it looks good. All right, so reassembly is super simple. We're just gonna go ahead and take our slide here and go ahead and drop your barrel in. Okay, it's just gonna lock into place. It should look like this if you have it in there inserted properly. Go ahead and take your guide rod. You've got the more fat blunt end that's gonna go towards the front. It's gonna lock into place. Go ahead and squeeze it. And it has a little tiny ledge that it's gonna fit in right here. Let's kind of bring that in so you guys can see it. Here you go, see how that sits in there? And it should look like this from the side if you have it done properly. If you have an angle up or down with that guide rod, that means that you've reinserted improperly, but it should be nice and flat. Okay, that's good to go. Excellent, again, not a very tight spring, kind of surprising actually. And then for reassembly, we're just going to put the slide back on the frame. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that here. There we go. Go ahead and pull back. 
definitely smoother than it was before. Definitely way grittier. Looks great. Okay, now we want to function test it. So go ahead and pull open and ensure that the firearm is unloaded. It is, there's no round in the chamber. And go ahead and dry fire. Do a double action pull. Okay, now go ahead and check your hammer drop and make sure that that works properly. There you go, your decocker, my bad, sorry about that. Okay, oh yeah, she's ready to go. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is just a couple drops of oil on a patch. We're gonna wipe off the outside and we are ready to go to the range. Now again, how often should you clean your firearm? I like cleaning my firearm after every range trip. That way I know if there's any kind of damage or problems with the firearm, it's gonna be uh, properly repaired and, and cleaned and ready to go for the next use. Uh, some people like to shoot the heck out of their guns. They'd like to shoot them until they start to malfunction and then they uh, Then that's the point that they'll clean them. I again I recommend cleaning your firearm after every visit to the range just because you could have a spring break or a latch break You know something that could cause the firearm to not function properly. So the uh, Taurus TH9 very cool little pistol I do like it and uh, again shout out to my neighbor for loaning it to me This is awesome. It's clean and it's ready for you to take it out to the range guys Make sure you head over to agesguncare.com use the uh, link down below in the description box, the affiliate link, so the channel can benefit a little bit from your shopping. But then also use discount code TravisP11 and you will save some money. So this is TravisP11, cleaning video number 100, another one in the books, guys. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Keep your firearms clean. Keep them clean with Aegis Gun Care. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.